was an election promise of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. A decade later, his goal has been achieved. A temple for one of the most revered Hindu deities, Lord Ram. Construction began in August 2020 and is estimated to have cost more than 200 million euros. Vijay Shankar Tiwari is part of a Hindu nationalist group called the Vishwa Hindu Parishad, the religious branch of the governing BJP. Ram belongs to everyone, the poor, the rich, women. He is larger than life for us, and we hope that he inspires the government to work for everyone. Outside Ayodhya city is getting a makeover. Streets are lined with murals, and the colour saffron, the sacred Hindu colour, is everywhere. Pilgrims are praising the government for this transformation. Other parties governed for 75 years. What they couldn't achieve in all those years, this government has done it in a decade. All thanks to Modi. Hindu groups have been demanding this temple for decades. In 1992, a mob demolished a 16th century mosque that stood here, alleging it was built where Lord Ram was born. It sparked riots nationwide, killing more than 2,000 people. After a long legal battle, the Supreme Court delivered its verdict in 2019. Even though it called the demolition illegal, it gave the site to Hindus. Muslims were given land 20 kilometers away. A stark difference. An empty plot except for this historic shrine. Azam Qadri is part of the group that represented Muslims in the case. He says they accepted the verdict to maintain peace, although many left town feeling a sense of alienation. Look at the history of the dispute and the history of the governing BJP. This government is in power because it took up the temple issue. This is just politics. Politics in the name of religion, making Hindus and Muslims fight. I used to debate with my Hindu brothers who would say, if the court verdict didn't favor them, they would get an ordinance passed by the government. Hindu nationalist groups have increasingly started filing lawsuits against several Muslim sites across the country. They claim Muslim rulers built these by destroying temples. These include ancient mosques and tourist attractions like the Qutub Minar in New Delhi and Taj Mahal in Agra. One of the most contested sites is in Varanasi, an ancient city on the Ganges River considered holy by Hindus. The government has spent millions of euros revamping religious sites and also built this river bank named after Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In August 2020, these three women filed a lawsuit against a historic mosque right next to a big temple. It's been sealed for nearly two years and there is tight security. Courts commissioned a video survey of the complex, but findings have not been made public. This is Gyanvapi. They call it a mosque, but we call it a temple, a temple of wisdom. Petitioners say they found Hindu shrines inside the mosque and are confident they will win. There is enough evidence that proves that centuries ago there was a temple here. We went with authorities for the video survey. I'm not allowed to share details, but I can tell you that we found enough remains that prove this used to be a temple. The issue is so sensitive they have been put under police protection. Petitioners say they will fight more cases but reject accusations of being Islamophobic. We are fighting for the truth. There's no reason for Muslims to be afraid. Look at what happened in Ayodhya. We got our land and they got their land. The same thing will happen here. We will get our temple back and they will get land somewhere else to build their mosque. So there will be a harmony. Advising them is Sohan Lal Arya, a member of the right-wing VHP. He helped demolish the mosque in Ayodhya and proudly shows this stone he took from the site. He's supporting other cases against mosques. I am proud of my religion and ancestry and believe in its teachings. Our Hindu sites were vandalized by British and Mughal rulers. 
If we don't rescue these, who will? This is my calling. In the national capital, New Delhi, we met a leading voice on civil rights. Sanjay Hegre is a senior lawyer who says these cases are unconstitutional. Those who are advocating this cause are entirely against secularism, as has been enshrined in the Constitution. There will not be an equal distance, but there will be an equal embrace of all religions. Now, what you are saying, or what the plaintiff side is saying, is that we shall have one religion dominant at the expense of any other religion which dares to stand in the way. Once the temple is open to the public, 100,000 pilgrims are expected to visit Ayodhya every day. The BJP hopes its efforts will pay rich political dividends in the upcoming election so it can return to power for the third consecutive term.